Blocks lets you create a more personal visitor experience based on data collected from guests. Let's see how this works. Please welcome our host and our guest. The host represents on-site staff managing an event, a visitor center or similar venue. Our guest visits for a few hours or so. We're going to use blocks to give him a more personal visitor experience. Often you want to obtain some initial information as guests arrive. This can be just a name or other more detailed information or preferences such as age group, preferred language or similar. Guests can sign in on site as they walk in. Welcome. Please sign in here. Oh, okay. Any data provided by guests is stored in a database managed by Blocks. This initial data collection is entirely optional and in some cases you may not need any such data at all. We need some way of identifying each guest. Here, we're giving him a card with a unique ID number. Here's your badge. Thank you. That ID number is stored along with other data in the database. Please use your phone and, uh, and your camera to connect to the system. In addition to, or instead of an ID card, you can use the guest's phone. Here, a QR code links the guest's phone to his other data, allowing the guest to be identified also by his phone. In some cases, guests are pre-registered and an invitation email has been sent ahead of time. Welcome. Please sign in here. Then you can use a QR code in that email on a paper ticket or similar to automatically register guests as you already have their contact details. This can save time and avoid mistakes during check-in. Once our guest has signed in, he can interact with stations using his ID card. Each station can interact with a guest using the available information, here greeting him by name. The guest is asked to take a photo. This is, like all other data collected, entirely optional, and the guest can skip this step. Since we know this guest has a phone, we are suggesting he use his phone to take the picture. But as you recall, the phone was optional. So if the guest doesn't have a phone or doesn't want to use it, we're also providing a local camera at this station. The end result will be the same as we know who's here and can connect the photo to our guest. A game is often a good way to engage guests, also letting them play against each other. When a guest signs in at this station, the game starts. After the game, the guest's score gets added to his data record. Data from multiple guests can be presented here in the form of high scores for the game. This encourages guests to play again to improve their score. Each guest can be given some credits for use during the visit. Here our guest uses a credit to get something to drink. Here we use the guest's phone for identification instead of the ID card. Either method works fine since both the ID card and the phone is linked to the same guest. As the host hands out the refreshment to the guest, the number of remaining credits are reduced in the guest's data record. This is also reflected on the guest's phone. The guest is encouraged to visit a product demo area. Doing so will earn him an extra credit. The phone can provide additional options to the guest. Here we are offering a choice of food for later. Such choices and other data can be collected and presented as statistics for use during or after the visit. Since Blocks is also a full-fledged control system, you can of course also provide individual control capabilities to your guests. The lighting here takes on the guest's team color when he signs in, but he can change the color on his phone, or control any other functions in the presentation environment managed by Blocks. Content can play using the guest's preferred language or be changed on the spot. Pixie Lab Blocks is all about creating dynamic experiences that are visual and interactive. 
Produkten integrerar alla aspekter av ditt projekt. Skärm. As you recall, our guest was prompted to visit the product demo area. The host asks the guest to sign in. Sign in here, please. As he signs in, an extra credit gets added to his account, which he can use later during the visit. This can only be done once. Our guest likes one of the products and scans its QR code. This action gets added to the guest's data record. At this station, we combine Block's media management capabilities with guest data, creating a unique, memorable moment. The guest selects some options to further customize the postcard, and then emails it to himself using the already registered email address. Since we have a direct connection to each guest, we can use this to let guests ask questions. Questions appear instantly on the host's iPad. The host can choose to answer a question directly. If the question is of general interest, the host can choose to publish it to another screen to be discussed with a group of guests. This takes advantage of the powerful multi-screen capabilities of Blocks. Blocks can push any data to any screen. Here we're showing our current guests, today's high scores from the game. Some data may be presented only to hosts, such as various forms of statistics. As our guest leaves for the day, all data associated with his visit can be archived. Alternatively, the data can be deleted right away helping you comply with GDPR or other data privacy regulations. Thank you. Bye -bye. As our guest leaves the venue happy with his visit, he checks his email. There he finds the email sent after his visit, including the postcard he made, ready to be posted to social media such as Instagram. There are also direct links to any products that he showed interest for in the product demo area.